Alright guys, hey, sorry for the delay, I actually uh, fell asleep after the episode was over, so this is up late, sorry about that. This is a review for The Haves and the Have Nots, Season 4, Episode 9, Choose My Son, or well, I Choose My Son. So the episode actually starts off with Quincy's uh, sister and one of, I guess, technically Quincy's boys from the street, go and tries to figure out what the hell's going on. With uh, Quincy, where is he? Because his sister's adamant about going to Kansas' house and casing the place because she's like, look, you're saying the phone is here, so where is my brother? So they get there, she finds the phone, she's freaking out because there's blood on it. She's like, oh lord, oh lord, what happened to my brother? And then, worse, uh, the guy she's with notices is like, yo, look at the floor. By the way, their acting is so, it's so bad. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but yeah, someone has to go and figure that out. Anyway, he's like, what's wrong with the floor? What's wrong with the floor? It's like, look, you don't see that? It's discolored. Why is it a different color? It's like, oh lord, that's bleach. That's bleach. They bleach, they bleach a place. They bleach a place. And... She's not wrong about that. So now she's like, oh, they killed my brother. And so then she wanted to go upstairs to go and figure out where the hell is he. But yeah, as we already know, that nosy neighbor, she saw the fact that they were for some they were circling the place. I'm assuming making sure that Candace wasn't home. But my whole thing is, what the hell are you guys doing? You guys were not thinking. You are not thinking. You're going into a neighborhood where you know you don't belong. And then you're circling around trying to go and um, make sure that no one's home. And you think no one would know this? You really thought no one would know this? Anyway, so we have Veronica and she's getting out of jail. Veronica's getting out of jail. And uh, the thing about that is she's uh, talking to Jim. And it's just like, all right, Veronica, all right, Veronica, even though you think that you're good now, wait till you ask his home. That's what he wants to say, but he doesn't say it like that. So he's just like, yeah, I'll be seeing you. It's like, no, you won't. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. It's like, uh, no, I think not. It's like, yeah, because he has someone waiting to get your ass when you get home. So, no, he won't be seeing you. It's like, for him, this is over. He'll get revenge for his son. He already killed everyone else. You're the only one that's left. So, as we know, the cops were called because the old uh, nosy lady across the street, she called the cops. This time it was for a good reason. I'll shout out to her because this time it was valid. valid. So, you have Quincy's sister trying to play dumb. It's like, no, I don't know anything. No, I don't know anything. And I'm like, damn, this sh she's acting so extra. I'm like, is she coming off of something? Did they pop something before they went? Because she's doing a little bit too much twitching for my taste. I don't know if any of you guys felt the same way, but I was just wondering, like, whoa. All right. That seems a little extra. What is she on? What is she on right now? So, the guy that she's with, he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is James. That's not his real name, but it was, like, last name Smith. I know that was his last thing. And so, it was, like, Queenie. Yeah, this is Queenie, Queenie whatever, and I'm just like, damn dude, that didn't take you long. I don't know if it's because he's used to being in jail or if he's really not about that life, and so he doesn't want any problems with the police. He's like, look, I'm a black man in America, I am not dealing with your foolishness today, you will not get me killed. <laughs> so, Jeffrey comes walking around the street, it's just like, La -dee -dee. It's like, oh Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, what is going on? And they're just like, hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, boy. I know that's what he really wanted to say. He's just like, yo, get your ass over here. Just like, all right. And Jeffrey's freaking out because not only are the cops are there in front of Candace's house when he knows that he helped murder Quincy, the cop that borderline tried to rape him, molest him, is there too so he's really over it and the cop was essentially like look let me take him inside but before that the girl's like yo you know you why was your cop stolen it's like i don't know i i mean car stolen what 
well, I don't know why my car was stolen. It was like, yeah, it was by that guy. It's like, I don't know why it was stolen by that guy. I have no idea. It's like, yeah, do you know him? It's like, no, I don't know who he is. He was, Jeffrey was like, no, I don't know who she is. But then they flipped it and it was like, oh, well, he took your car. And he was like, oh, the Har she was like, oh, the Harrington boy. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, what are you doing my car? I'm just like, oh, Lord, she... So, I kind of wish that this scene was rewritten because something about it just seems so off. I'm so glad Jeffrey was there because I feel like he kind of saved it. Because the scene for me was just going downhill. It just, I don't know why, it just wasn't working for me. But anyway, afterwards we get to, they're in the house now. You know, the cop that tried to officer, he ain't gay, but he's willing to do something strange if you let him. That's what I'm going to call him. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call him. He is trying to case uh, J uh, Jeffrey. And so he's like, look, I know you did something. I know you did something. I'm going to find out. So either you tell me now or you, you tell me later. It's like, Candace, you know Candace. Oh, yeah. And Queenie was trying to say, oh, yeah, Candace is my friend. I know who she is. And they were like, what's her number? It's like, I don't have her number. She's supposed to be your friend, but you're sneaking around in the back of her house and you don't have her number? It's like, no, I don't have my number. Now, here's the thing. That part, I feel like that was the only thing that was valid that came out of her mouth because who really uh, remembers other people's numbers? Honestly, sometimes I have to think about my own cell phone number. Because, well, I actually have more than one, but I definitely don't remember the second one. Not at all. Not at all. You could tell me it right now and be like, oh, is, are you sure? So, there is that. Now, again, the officer is casing Jeffrey because it's like, look, he's not dumb. He, he's a creep. He's a creep. He's a creep. But he's not dumb. He knows that something is going on here. Uh, his mother was telling him how... Three guys came in that house. Only two came out. Uh, well, excluding the other one that they're arresting with Queenie. And so, what happened to that one guy? What happened here? And so, he's looking around. You know, it's like, this is a nice place. And then, he's just trying to figure out, so what's his involvement? What Jeffrey's involvement in general with Candace? And it's like, do you live here? Do you know her? Do you know what she does? It was like, oh, is she a call girl? Is she an escort? And I'm like, okay, excuse me? Is it because she's black? Is it because she's young? It's like, you're right, but <laughs> why? Why? And it's true. It's pretty obvious that something else is going on. Why couldn't she just be a rich, entitled uh, girl, and that's why she has all this money and opportunity? What about that? Why is no one saying that? Or thinking that? Huh? Is it because we're in Georgia? <laughs> no, but... Yeah, so again, the guy is like, oh, all right, so if you're friends with her, call her. Again, in that situation where Jeffrey's like, I don't have her number, I don't have my phone. Yeah, because she broke his phone, so the officer's just like, use mine, again, don't have the number, so we're back to square one, and Jeffrey is over it. Jeffrey just like, Lord Jesus, why don't you just go? Why don't you just go? And I'm like, look, you saying that is provoking this guy. You are now provoking an officer of the law who's willing to, who's asking you now to fix him a drink and to hang out with him and uh, do something strange. Do something strange, not even for change. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, I would tread very lightly. And the worst thing is the officer tells uh, his other people is like, I got this. I'll wait for her to come home. Go away. And he goes right behind. What do you call it? He goes right behind uh, Jeffrey. It's just like, yeah, why don't you do something for me? And then we could talk about, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this officer is doing a little bit too much for me. He's doing a little bit too much for me. Afterwards, we get to Candace. She's talking to, talking to Landon. And, uh, she's just like, you know, how you doing, buddy? What's going on? And Landon's just stressed out because he's just like, I have to put out so many fires. And so Kansas is essentially like, well, now you have another one because you know, the criers, the boy, uh, Wyatt. Yeah. He hit 
the little girl. And it was like, yeah, and my brother. And Landon's just like, your brother? It's like, yeah, you know, the young man that got hit as well? Well, yeah, that was actually my brother. And so Landon, of course, astonished because he really didn't know that. So anyway, she was like, what are you going to do? It's like, oh, well, I'm going to sue them. It's like, oh, more work for me. But anyway, after that, she goes and convinces Landon to go up to her hotel room because she's like, you know what? I have a man for you. I have a man for you upstairs. And, uh, in my room, let's go, tall, dark, dread, handsome, la la la, and Landon's going, he's all for it, and Jeffrey is, uh, back at the house drinking with the officer that, oh, wants to do something strange, Mr. Do Something Strange, for no change, uh, and... They're done drinking. He drinks essentially the whole bottle of wine, and Jeffrey drinks a little bit with him. And so then he was like, "All right, come upstairs." And I'm just like, "Oh, poor Jeffrey, poor Jeffrey." We already saw the preview, so we know how this is gonna go. But I'm just thinking to myself, Jeffrey, remain cool, remain calm. This guy's a gun. The whole time, this guy pretty much has been touching his gun, and so it's like, "You're gonna do what I say, boy. You're gonna do what I say." We're back at the jail, and Veronica's being released. She actually uh, meets up with Quincy's sister in the hallway when she's waiting to be processed to leave the jail. Now, uh, Quincy's sister warns her. It's like, yep, yeah, do not go to your house. Do not go to your house. Do you hear me? You better not take your ass back to your house, because if you do, uh, you're going to get shot. I can't give you any more information unless you go... And get me out of here. So you know Veronica's going, going to go and do that. Veronica's not dumb. Once she realizes it's Quincy's sister, she knows that it's legitimate. She doesn't know the full details, but she knows that it's legitimate. Afterwards, uh, Veronica's being processed out, and she's getting all of her things. She's getting her phone. David's been trying to call her, of course, to warn her, and she's just not having it. They actually give her back everything. We know she's a lawyer, so she would have fought tooth and nail. But they give her back all of her belongings, except what? What can you imagine? At this point in time, after a couple a weekend in jail, and um, Veronica being what she is, her wig, her eight thousand dollar wig. They go and miss. Uh, I don't know where they put it, but her wig is nowhere to be seen. Poor thing. And Veronica is over. She's like, that's $8,000. You're just trying to embarrass me. She even goes and tries to talk to Jennifer to get the wig. And Jennifer's just like, look, girl, I didn't even know that you wore wigs. She, so then she was like, oh, well, I do. And it's $8,000. And I will be suing your ass. So if you don't give me my wig now, it's like, look, we can't find your wig. I'm sorry. David calls Jennifer and... And it's just like, look, Jennifer, Jennifer, you, uh, you cannot let my wife go home. And Jennifer's just like, oh, why? Because Maggie Day's at her house? Bye. <laughs> oh, poor Jennifer, poor Jennifer. But shout out to Veronica, because I will say this, Veronica is so resilient. So resilient. Even if I don't personally like her, I have to give it up to her, because they took her wig and, as we know, her hair is in braids right now, not even fresh braids, her hair is in braids. And so she's like, look, I'm going to show you um, what it looks like to see a beautiful black woman with natural hair. And I'm like, okay, Veronica, all right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So she goes into the bathroom, she tears off part of her uh, dress, and I'm like, all right, Veronica. And so she's going to tie it you know, around her head. I'm like, all right, you you do not have enough material to cover your whole head. What are you doing here? So, uh, we're back at the house with Jeffrey and Officer Strange for No Change. And Strange for No Change is asking Jeffrey, it's just like, look, look, Jeffrey, look. I know something weird happened here. You don't want me to go and open up an investigation. So that confirms that you're trying to hide something. I don't know what you're trying to hide. You don't want to tell me. That's fine. But here's how this is going to work. This is how this is going to work. 
I know you're a good kid. I actually know you're a pretty decent kid. Uh, this is the first time anything has happened. The DUI. So, I'm going to go and let this slide. Is he really? No. No. He goes, gives Jeffrey a handshake. I'm like, Jeffrey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do not trust him. Shakes his hand. Then, uh, flips Jeffrey. And, from what it looks like, again, tries to take what he wants. Tony takes that man by. <laughs> tries to take what he wants. But, little did he know that Jeffrey isn't as much as a, of a punk as we thought he was. Because Jeffrey comes off really meek and uh, mild mannered, but Jeffrey isn't the one. Clearly, Jeffrey isn't the one because he did uh, kill Quincy's ass. He did kill Quincy's ass, and now he's just like, Look, I've killed one person within the last 24 hours. Don't think that I can't at least restrain another one. So he goes and does this wrestling move and puts a guy in this. I don't know, is it considered a headlock when you have your legs twisted around their neck? I don't know, but that's what Jeffrey was able to do, and then he had his arm, um, his, I think, right arm completely restrained. So he's like, look, I give, he's like, look, are you good? Are we good? Are we good? Because you think that I'm a punk, you think that I'm weak, but you don't think that I'm about that life, period. You were sadly mistaken. You were sadly mistaken. Are we good? And so, Jeffrey was just like, look, look, we're good. I'm sorry. I, I'm i sorry, I'll never do that again. It was like, you promise? It was like, yeah, I'll never do that again. It's like, all right, all right. Are you sure? He's like, yes, I'll, I'll never do that again. No, no, why would I? I I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so... So shout out to Jeffrey for that. But then, it was like, I guess it was the Harrington's time this episode. Because Veronica comes out of jail. And I mean, Veronica, you can't, you couldn't tell her nothing. She redid her hair. She took those braids out. She took those braids out. Redid her hair. I'm like, damn, it looks like it was even washed. And she has that uh, pseudo scarf around her head with the uh, braids and a huge bun coming up and I'm just like and again because we ripped she ripped her skirt and she has all her jewelry and everything so she looks like a million bucks and I'm like this chick this chick I uh, we hate her so much for so many reasons but one thing I can never hate on is the fact when someone is able to survive and uh up against adversity and that's what Veronica thrives in she is a lawyer so and a great one at that so I expect her to be able to weasel her way out of almost any situation unfortunately in this situation props to Veronica props to Veronica uh I mean you have to see how she looked it was like before and after but ah uh, uh Landon comes back to the hotel room that Candace is at because it's like, oh, there's a guy here for me. Well, guess what, Landon? You've been punked. The guy that comes in is like this uh, football football player sized with dreads. And it looks like he has like a razor in his beanie. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. <sighs> Tyler, you finally casted right because that motherfucker <laughs> looks like he don't play. Or yes, he is willing to play with Landon, but for all the wrong reasons. And so Landon's just like, oh, what's going on? And then we have Erica coming. You know, Erica's my favorite right now. We have Erica coming, and it's like, Candace, don't believe a word he's saying. He's lying. He's lying. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. So uh, Candace's just like, look, boy, you're going to uh, tell me what happened with, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Candace doesn't go and divulge everything she makes it very general it's just like look what do you know about oscar it's like oscar yeah it's like where is oscar where is oscar what's your involvement with him tell me now and landis is like look i don't like, i'm like whoa i mean that was the quickest slap i ever saw i barely heard it i was like wait did she actually slap him <laughs> because yo 
Long story short, Landon was uh, approached by Oscar to go and give Candace that information because uh, Landon was interested in Oscar, thought Oscar looked interesting, but he wasn't interested in her. So then in him, he was interested in his, fr uh, his friend being uh, Candace. So Oscar was like, yo, can you do something for me? Sorry about that. Yeah, Landon didn't think too much of it. So he went and go and followed the link. And that's what he gave to Candace because Oscar was interested in Candace, as we know. And I believe Os I believe Landon. Landon does seem innocent enough to where he wouldn't be playing those type of games. And so did Candace. At first, Erica was just like, nah, he's lying, he's lying. And I'm just like, Erica, Erica likes trouble. I appreciate that, but Erica... Slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. You're not helping the situation. So she's like, Candace said, Oh, I believe him. Look, he peed his pants. And I'm like, T Tyler, we really can't have someone just splash some water on Landon's pa pants to show the effect. Come on now. That would have been priceless. But anyway, I guess he wanted all the close shots to see Landis really shook. So uh, Candace is just like, all right, Landon, I'll be seeing you. Oh, do you want me to leave him here for you? It was like, uh, no, 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 no. And so uh, they all left. And I was like, you know what? Landon is messy, but even he didn't deserve something like that. Messy doesn't equate to getting your ass almost beat. It does. Well, uh, it depends on what you do. It really depends on what you do, but not for what Landon was involved with. So Mr. Strange for No Change is still there with Jeffrey, and still trying to uh, braid Jeffrey into speaking the truth about what happened there. And Jeffrey flips the script. Remember, fl uh, <laughs> Jeffrey is a psychologist. Psychologist? Psychiatrist? No, psychologist. Yeah, Jeffrey's a psychologist. And so being that Jeffrey is a uh, psychologist, he's able to go and be like, look. I don't know what your issue is. Actually, I do know what your issue is. Your issue is that I'm assuming it was your mom, your mom and your dad. Okay, your mom and your dad, they didn't accept you for you and what you are. And so you have this pseudo hypo uh, hyper masculine form and image of yourself in order to protect yourself, in order to display that uh, to the world to hide the fact that you like what you like, you want what you want, you are what you are and who you are, and you know that the people around you, the people that care about you the most, the people that you feel like you care about the most, uh, wouldn't accept that. And as a result, you are going around and uh, doing something strange with each and every guy that you know you can have control over because that's your only way to finally express the real you. And I'm just like, Jeffrey, this is what I'm talking, this is what I've been waiting for. We knew Veronica was in there somewhere. You were playing with David for too long as far as being David's child. I was like, where is the Veronica side in Jeffrey? Where is the Veronica side in Jeffrey? And it was finally coming now. Because I'm like, I feel like that's something that his mother would have said exactly. And that was essentially the whole scene. There was a lot going on back and forth, but that was the main, um, the main feeling of the scene. The guy was like, look, either you're going to stay here or you're going to go. And then Jeffrey even went as far as to, again, this was a close up scene. So I had to use your imagination, whatever. And Jeffrey grabbed the officer's junk and it's just like, see, your body isn't lying. The words out of your mouth are, but how are you reacting right now? Well, that speaks volumes. Or maybe not volumes, but that's doing something. So I'm going to need you to chill out. Because at one point, the guy was even saying how he wasn't saying that he was gay, but he was essentially saying everything else, letting us uh, know that he's not gay. And he even had Jeffrey like by the neck and this is how much space they had in between uh, each other while he also had Jeffrey uh, had his hand around Jeffrey's neck and I'm just like brah brah come on now alright so after that 
we have Hannah telling Catherine, it was like, look, Catherine comes home, looking at her house, like, what the hell happened? What the hell happened to my house? What happened to my place? What is going on? And this scene was so powerful because Catherine and Hannah are both fighting for their sons. They're fighting for their sons in the sense that it's like, you had the audacity to have me come work for you, continue to work for you. You paid for my son's hospital bills, and now I know why. Because of the fact that you felt bad about what your son did. You did what you did out of guilt. You didn't do it because it was the right thing to do. How dare you act like you did because it was the right thing to do. You made it seem like I should have been so grateful. You made it seem like we were actually friends. We were supposed to be friends. But all that really happened is, uh, you lied to me. You and everyone else in this house has lied to me. And Catherine's just like, Hannah, you're my friend for real. I need you. If you weren't there when the mayor... When Amanda was going through it, and I'm also thinking like when you found out you had cancer or whatever, and she helped you through recovery, because we're just supposed to forget that? Are we really supposed to forget that? Um, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't know known what I would have done, because Veronica's not really a friend. She's more so an acquaintance. An acquaintance I've known for a long time, that's all. But yeah, so Hannah's just like, you know what? I'm doing what's best for my family. You continue to do as best for yours. I cannot work for you. Here's the thing. The last time that I spoke out uh, without having the full evidence, someone died. My uncle, I saw him carrying a running down the street with a, what do you call it, a TV. And the cops came and they asked me uh, what I saw. So my mother looked at me as if, don't you say anything, but don't you also lie. So I ended up telling the truth as far as what I saw. My uncle died. You know what he died for? Some guy robbed his boss and took the TV. My uncle got the TV back for my boss, but because of the fact that I only saw him running with the TV and that was the only real eyewitness testament, he got killed over that. He actually was doing the right thing but, because of the fact that no one was there, except for me to see it, and I voiced my uh, truth, or my version of the truth, someone died. So, that's why I'm cautious about going and accusing someone. That's why, when I asked you, and you didn't say anything, that's what I took it as. Even if my heart of hearts, I knew that your son did it. It didn't matter, because I wasn't going to go and put someone else who was possibly innocent in jail. That is not what I was going to do. That was not what I was going to do. And oh, I was just like, Hannah. Hannah. Damn. And so then she said, you know what? I'm done. I'm only here for my check. That is it. I'll make a way. I'll find a way where there is no way. Oh, yeah, because Hannah also told us, like, yeah, why it's gone. He took, he brought a brand new car. He trashed the place. And he packed all the things and left. But aside from them, Heather was just like, look, I did it all for my son. I did it all for my son. Can you not understand I did all of that for my son? And Hannah's like, look, well, I choose my son. Just like you're choosing your son right now in this moment. For once, I'm choosing my family and my son over everyone else. So, Give me my money, and I'll be gone. And so then she was like, look, Hannah, you get paid the first of the freaking month. I will see your ass here every day until the first of the freaking month. And that's when you'll get your final paycheck. Okay. I was just like, you know what, Catherine, I can't. If you guys reconcile within that point in time, I'm done with this show. Because as we know, the first of the freaking month could be a year from now. With how Tyler Perry writes and strings this soap opera along. So that was it, yo. This episode, it started off slow. It started off slow, but then it picked up where it needed to. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Come back for next week, because next week looks like it's going to be lit.